Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Gaming Habitat and today I'm bringing you a, not a new game, but a updated um, take on a old classic known as Psychonauts. This is one of the parts I love most about this uh, game, it's the jumping on the brains. No, actually there's a um, secret hidden part in here, right here. Uh, let's say... Start a new game. Press to continue, but I don't think we have anything to continue. Load a save game. No. There's nothing to load. A new game. How about we start a new game? The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Light monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kit! Get in! Ugh. My name... Starts with a D. ...is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me... Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? L listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow Psychedets? Hey, how's it going? 
I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kind of. But... Now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Alright, time to create a profile. And wow, talk about some curvaceous undulations. What was that guy talking about? So, um, we can take this bump. Or we can take this bump. We can take this bump. Hmm. I don't know, which one should I pick? Maybe I should just pick this one. All right, slick bump. Mm, type your nickname, only letters, numbers, and friends. No. About my name, channel name. Oh, can't go any longer than that. So. Game how it'll be. All right, settle down in here. Be gay tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird. And you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Well, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. We're about to meet one of my most favorite people. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Alright. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. 
The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh -huh. Now look up for me if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! I'm not sure if I like this camera preference. I'm gonna go check this out. Options, controls, graphics, graphics. Hmm. No, this isn't it. Oh, there we go. Invert camera effort. What are they talking about? Sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to like fix this camera some more because I'm not, this is not, this is not how I remember the camera when I first played this game. Alright, you have your first arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of titanium, a rare psychoreactive mineral, which makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp, store, and other places you find. That's good to know. Alright. We'll have to look for the camp store later. I saw a card around here, a side card, if I can get the camera to cooperate. Oh, there we go. Congratulations, you found a loose side card. Collect nine of these and you can build a side challenge marker out of them. But you'll need to get a side core from the camp store and a little help from Ford Crawler. Oh, so that's how the dude was in the dream, okay. Um, options. That's a little bit better. I'm gonna have to play around with the camera settings, but I guess that's a little bit better. Alright, I think I can live with those camera controls, at least till the next episode. Alright, um, let's go talk to some people. You know that, right? Duh! I'm practicing for tonight, when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. 
Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I, I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? That's got to be the people. worst band name I have ever heard. In the, the Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's I what I was thinking. No, I mean, the worst, as in, I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe, and I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. This is another thing I love about Psychonauts. The fact that you can just jump on a, a straight edge like this and just slide down it like a skateboard. Skateboard on a rail. I'm telling you for the last time, no! I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. You going to class? Yeah. I'll meet you up there. Oh. How do you do that? That's crazy. Alright. You got some like secret uh secret powers you not tell me about, Dogan? Uh, hidden talents in there, buddy. Ooh, I can get up here. This is another thing I like about um, this game. It's a platforming. I mean, a lot of platformers have things like this, in them, but this kind of this takes it to a different level. I think for right now I'm just gonna try to gather up. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. Yes, I'm gonna on. collect up all the psych cards. Um... And the arrow. Well, I'm gonna try to get all the arrowheads in this area. I think they kind of um, generate, sometimes randomly generate new ones. But... Oh. So right now, I have five cards. I need to get. Four more to make nine. Yep. 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 Stupid lame people. Who's this guy? 
Is that like a log or something on his head? What is that? You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. Mikhail will find you. Frozen solid. It looks like it's completely frozen in a big block of ice. <laughs> so we can't break it out. Frozen solid. Frozen solid. At least not yet. You have enough side cards to build a new side challenge marker. Okay. Just buy a side card at this camp store and use Agent Carlos special lab equipment to put the cards and pour together into the new marker. Okay. After class, of course. So that means we have to go to basic branding first before we can do anything cool. Alright. I guess we should go to basic branding. Where's basic branding? Right over here. Okay. I really love the long, spindly design of this treehouse. I mean, I think it, you know, from the game design perspective, it's really cool. Hey, where are you going, Maloof? This is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. All right. You see, Norby, the trains will have 
astrally project themselves into the coach's sight. Which we see Nall being a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's sight. Which is awesome. We see Nall being a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's sight. Which is awesome. We see Nall being a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's sight. Which is awesome. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Whoops. Sorry. Hey, Chloe. What are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. Okay. I think I can tune it to uh, reach my people. <laughs> all right. Let me go talk to Coach Oleander now. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic training. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I think I'm ready. Yeah, we're ready for this. I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're late, soldier! Now get in here and give me 20! So... This is it. The mental world. Looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting! I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. But I warn you, once you do, the war is on. You gonna punch him? <laughs> for the no office. way! Like, what is the you next guy? Yep. You're office. not gonna get another chance like this, I guarantee it. Oh. He's got an Uncle Sam poster, but it looks like him. I said pop <laughs> me! <laughs> Come on! This guy's mind is filled with some propaganda. Yo, there. Navy boy! Chicken of the sea! Come on, let's go! Ah, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed! A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart! He's not dead, his astral projection just got kicked out of my mind! And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now! Okay, okay, calm down, man. Dang, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey! Yeah. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier! Come on, get that figment! Be a figgy piggy! Who's Coach's little piggy? I 
so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. Oh, wait. There's a ladder. I want to go down the ladder. Dang, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey! Mental health, maintaining your mental health is important. As you run out, you'll be able to maintain your astral projection. Okay. here before. I heard they were coming out with a um, Psychonauts 2. 
they're having a, um, was it a big campaign or something like that? Back it up for Kickstarter. And they kind of had, um, like, two different release dates for it. I was following with it and keeping up with the whole story. Um, so I'm like a big Psychonauts nerd. And it's like they said it would be out around 2018. Or was it, they started working on it around 2015. So far from the documentaries. And then... It was like they moved the uh, date back again. You'll have plenty of morale when you're dead! So, I don't know, was it gonna come out in like 2019 or... I have no idea when the new Psychonauts is gonna come out. Ooh, power up. Wait, am I supposed to be here? I guess so. It's game day, kid! No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya, you're talking too slow. <laughs> Onward and upward, soldier. Let me collect all this mental. Onward and upward, soldier! I think there's another one that's supposed to pass up through here. Oh, okay, got it. Get through the mines. So okay. We have to do this like one. I can't do it. I can't do Why it. Why do that? Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. I can't do it. I keep. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Alright, nice and easy, Dogen. Nice and easy. I can't do it. I can't. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. You have to be really careful around going here. 
Come on, Dogen. Like, right behind me. Because you're gonna, like. Ah! I can't do it! I can't do ah. it! So, like, when I first played this game, I didn't. See, when I get through. I didn't know I had to get, get to constantly encourage this guy. At least that's what happened. So. If you have to follow you. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. And then you okay. point, every once in a while you have to peri periodically turn around and tell him uh, he's doing a good job. Good. But that's kind of difficult because turning around in here with all these mines. It's hard. I can't do one. it. One I can't. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just you follow me. Okay. Believe in you. We're almost on the other side. out there. Hey, um, this is for helping me out. Okay, bye. to the other side. enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to be doing more episodes of this because I love this game. This is a classic. Uh, thank you for watching.